the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Beakers bubbling, turning blue. Motors making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space, mysterious, serious, and a little bit delirious. Oh. Oh. Hey, Gorba's stuck in some seaweed. It's called kelp. It grows in the ocean. Well, I think Gorga needs a little kelp getting out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you always swim with a buddy. The fish go on the outside, little dude. Here, let me help you tighten your mask. Thank you. <laughs> oh my! It appears that Gorga's getting a first-hand look at a tide pool. Tide pool? What's that? It just looks like a bunch of puddles to me. Oh, no. There's much more to it than that. Let's look in the Multopedia. <laughs> to understand tide pools, you first have to understand the ocean, which is a large body of salt water. But an ocean doesn't stay the same all the time. The water level rises and falls every day. We call that the tides. High tide? and low tide. And when the tide goes from high tide back to low, it can leave behind pools of water trapped in rocks and dips in the sand, along with the animals that live in that water. We call those pools... Don't tell me! Tide pools! Precisely! And the area along the coastline where the tides rise and fall is called the Tide Zone. Now, let's take a closer look at a tide pool. Look at all the creatures it contains. Sea stars, sea urchins, mussels. <laughs> These mussels are a lot different, Gorga, and spell differently, too. Tide pools are fascinating, but the tide zone is just one of the ocean's habitats. The ocean is separated into different zones, one on top of the other. The zones can be divided according to how far down the sunlight can reach and how warm or cold the water is. The top zone is called the light zone because it gets the most sunlight of any zone. The light zone is where most of the animals in the ocean live. Here you'll find sea otters, dolphins, and many fish and plants. Submitted for your approval, the twilight zone. Some sunlight reaches down here, but not as much as in the light zone. And the water gets really cold. Other fish and many octopuses live here. The dark zone has no sunlight at all. And the water there is very cold. And yet, tripod fish, viper fish, angler fish, and many others live there. That was fun. But I wonder why so many creatures live in the light zone. Excuse me. Are you the Zula Patrol? Look, a starfish! Ahem. I'm a sea star, actually. Ew, sea star! Aren't we posh? Starfish isn't good enough for her. Hey, wake up and smell the plankton. Do I look like a fish to you? As I was saying, my name is Stella, and I'd like to report a missing sea star. Me. You see, I don't belong in this tide pool. Oh, oh, brother, here, here we, we go, go again. again. Are you sure? I see starfish. I mean, sea stars all around here. But not like me. See, I'm from the ocean. 
this morning I was hanging out at home just practicing my yo-yo tricks. I was doing walking the dogfish when the rock I was suckered onto turned out to be a tuna. It took off with me on it. Next thing I knew, I was lost. Then I got swept away into this, this tide pool. It's a tide pool! What a place! The tide goes in and out and in and out. I just want to go home. Do you have any idea how to find your way back? Not a clue. What if I never see my home again? Mom? Dad? My brother Asterisk? Please, Please help her. her! She's been driving us bananas since she got here! Can we, Bula? Of course we'll help. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Yes! This means I get to test out the submarine! Submarine? A little something I've been working on in my spare time. Watch! <laughs> get on board! See ya! Don't take any wooden mackerels! Wow! Look at all these different fish in the light zone! Recognize anything, Stella? Uh, I'm not sure. Does she look familiar to you, Dolphins? Sorry, no. She's way paler than the local sea stars. Wow! It's a blue whale! The world's largest animal. Whoa! It thinks we're a submarine sandwich! <laughs> don't worry, little one. I'm Big Blue, and I don't eat sea stars. All this sunlight here in the light zone makes for plenty of food. What do you eat, Mr. Big Blue? You see, the sun provides the energy for tiny plant-like creatures called phytoplankton to grow. The phytoplankton are eaten by teeny-weeny animals called zooplankton, which are then eaten by shrimp or krill, which then make a fine meal for big blue whales like me. It's like a big chain of food. You're absolutely right, Wig. In fact, we call it a food chain. Gee, maybe that's why so many creatures live in the light zone. There's more sunlight to start off the food chain. Um, Mr. Blue, have you seen any sea stars that look like Stella here? Afraid not, but I'll keep my eyes open. See anything you recognize, Stella? No, I'm having trouble seeing anything, because the light zone seems so bright. Hey, Stella, that's a clue. You must come from a place where the light is much dimmer, like the twilight zone. I'll take us down there. How's this, Stella? Can you see any better down here in the twilight zone? <laughs> sure can. That giant squid is clear as day. Whoa! My, it's very rare to see a giant squid. He's got us! Gee, what's the hurry, Murray? Where are you headed? Can I help? Sure. We're looking for... You know, we don't get too many visitors to the Twilight Zone. You sure you're not lost? You are lost, aren't you? I knew it! Nothing to be ashamed of. Don't be afraid to ask directions. Left is good, right is good, but not down. Because it's real hard to see down there. Here in the Twilight Zone, there's just enough light to see during the day. Although not enough for plants to grow, which is why there isn't much to eat either. And just try to grow a houseplant. <laughs> My Twilight Zone friends usually swim to the surface to eat, but only at night because it's safer and... Uh, I hate to interrupt, but we're... We're in kind of a hurry. We're looking for our friend Stella's home. Well, I have heard about some pale sea stars living down below in the dark zone, but personally, I don't go down there much. Brrr, too cold and dark. Ah, uh, thanks for your help, Mr. Squid. Sounds like we're heading down further. Dark zone, here we come. Hey, things are starting to look more familiar. You can see, but the light is so dim. I wish I could go outside and get a better look. You can. I made scuba outfits for deep water like this. Molto and I can stay with the sub while you check things out. Dark zone is right. I can't see a thing. Good thinking. You brought a flashlight. No, I didn't. Look, the light is coming from those fish. They're glowing. Because it's so dark in the ocean's deeper zones, many creatures have ways of making light with their bodies. It's called bioluminescence. It sure would be handy to have your own light. Yikes! The engine's stalled. I can't see where I'm going without the ship's light. Help! Good news, the lights are back on. 
Bad news? We're sinking! Oh my, that is good news! And that's very bad news! We're filling up fast from all these leaks! And the water is freezing! <laughs> I can patch a few of these holes! So can we! It's not enough! It's still sinking! We were so worried. I missed you, too. But uh, this isn't a good time for hugging. My new friends really need my help. And yours, too. I can see that. Lend an arm, everybody. That's it! We're starting to rise! Well, the leaks are plugged. We made it. Thanks to you and your family, Stella. I'm just so glad I found them again. Thanks to you and your family, the Zula Patrol. Goodbye, Zula, Zula Patrol. If you ever want to visit, just remember, we're back in the tide pool again. Back where a fish is a friend. Where oceans and sea stars play tunes on their guitars and muscles drop by now and then. We say that the light sounds the best. We get more light than the rest. The blue whales and otter play tag in the water with plenty of food for a guest. And as the Zula Patrol flies over Zula, I'll meet you down by the water cooler. Hi there, seafarers. Time for the Molto Moment. Do you remember what we call a large body of salt water? Really bad soup? <laughs> oh, no. It's called an ocean. Most of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans. Oceans have lots of different places where different plants and animals live. Like the light zone, twilight zone, and dirt zone. Let's not forget all the creatures who live along the shoreline in the tide zone. Like sea stars, urchins, mussels, barnacles, sea anemones. And crabs! <laughs> oh dear, we'll see you next time. 